Hey guys, Joshua Zamora here and welcome to this training. Uh, over the next few videos, I'm going to be pretty much walking you through a very simple but very powerful launch jacking system. Okay, now I uh, haven't really figured out whether I want to call it the 2020 launch jack system or the trifecta video system. Okay, because there is uh, three pretty much uh, key components to this once we get to the actual video creation and video optimization and video ranking part of it. Okay. Uh, but before we get into that, we obviously have to cover first keyword research and then where to find products. OK, uh, so there's actually two ways that you can launch jack. There is uh, launch jacking in the Internet marketing space, which uh, many of you are uh, familiar with. And then there's launch jacking outside of the Internet marketing space. And I'll talk about uh, both of those here shortly. OK, uh, but the good thing about launch jacking is that it simplifies the keyword research uh, portion of uh, the SEO process. OK, uh, for the most part, if you are targeting uh, evergreen terms, then keyword research does take a little bit more time because you already have built in competition uh, that you have to analyze okay but with keyword research uh, when it comes to launch jacking you bypass all of that because there is no current uh, competition because these products haven't launched yet which is why it's called uh, launch jacking you are ranking your video or your niche site before the product is even available to be sold okay so because of that reason there is no competition yet OK, or very little competition if there are other people launch jacking as well. Uh, but when it comes to launch jacking, uh, there's pretty much three types of keywords that you target. OK, product name review, product name reviews. And yes, these do count as two different uh, keywords, even though there's just uh, uh, one letter difference and they will display different results as well in Google and product name bonus. OK, obviously, product name bonus is only for um products in the internet marketing space okay you may try to offer a bonus for products outside of the internet marketing space but it's not needed because people aren't used to looking for bonuses uh outside of the internet marketing space okay and here at the bottom this is for launch jacking outside of the internet marketing space which is uh comparing products okay uh, so people love to do this especially in today's uh, day that we're living in where there are rarely ever any unique products for the most part there are multiple uh, companies and multiple products competing so people like to compare them uh, to see which one works best for them so that's what i'm calling here the versus keyword okay and i'll show you what that looks like here in a second uh, but pretty much that is keyword research uh, in its entirety when it comes to launch jacking these are the, the keywords that you're going to be targeting okay uh, so the First thing we have to do once you realize that, you know, it's pretty much very simple when it comes to keyword research is to actually find products that you want to launch Jack. OK, uh, so where do you actually find products, at least in the Internet marketing space? OK, uh, two very main places. OK, MunchEye.com and JVNotifyPro.com. OK, these are the two most uh, relevant sources that you can go to okay uh, so munchai.com this is what it looks like okay and it pretty much tells you uh, the name of the person that's launching the product the name of the product the price and what network it's launching on okay and the date obviously so uh, it, it's very simple to come on here and never run out of products to promote However, you do want to uh, focus mainly on the ones that have a bigger chance of uh, getting, getting as much traffic as possible. OK, uh, so the ones here on the left hand side are from vendors that are known to have bigger launches. OK, and, and pull bigger numbers and pretty much have more traffic. OK, so these are most likely the ones that you want to stick to. OK, although there's also some here on the right hand side that will get some good traffic uh, because, you know, Munch Eye, it does. You do have to have some qualifications to end up here on the left hand side. Uh, I think it took me well over two or three years to be able to get approved to show up here on the left hand side. Uh, but pretty much uh, another way that you can figure out if a launch is going to get some good exposure is by looking at the ones that are. Uh, highlighted okay uh, these are people that most likely uh, have been in the game for a while and they understand that uh, this tiny little yellow um, highlighter bar 
uh, catches attention for people to promote their product. Okay. Um, and they are, they're actually paying for that. So, um, that's it. That, that's pretty much as simple as it is to come on here and select the product. One thing that I personally do like, uh, looking at is products that are a little bit more, uh, expensive. Okay. So something that's five bucks, I'm not going to spend the time to try to launch jack that something that's 10 bucks as well. I won't do that. Uh, eight bucks. You know, I, I want to look at something that's more along like this, like $49, uh, $39. Okay. Uh, 27. And sometimes these aren't even really accurate numbers. Uh, so you want to make sure you click through to this and I'll show you how, how that looks here in a second. This one here, okay low hanging system 1997 that one's gonna be a good one i might even launch jack for this one myself okay because that's a big ticket product those are the ones that i really like launch jacking for because one sale can mean you know a thousand dollars a piece okay uh, so this is a really really good one uh to go after um and let's see all right let's just click through to one of these uh, let's do this one here. Okay. Which is launching tomorrow. And for the most part on these pages, uh, what you really want to get from here is this page here, the JV page. Okay. Uh, because if you are not, um, going to be able to make a video yourself on this page is where most likely you'll be able to get a video that you can use. Okay. And I know when you're first getting started, it can be a little bit scary to create a video yourself or create a review video yourself, uh, especially if you can't really get access to the product. And if you're brand new to the uh, affiliate marketing space, it is going to be very difficult to reach out to these uh, vendors and get access. Okay. For the most part, they reserve access to affiliates that they know and trust. Okay. Uh, so here is the JV page for this launch. Okay. And somewhere on here, boom, there we go. They have a software demo. Okay. It doesn't seem like this one is a, uh, downloadable one. However, here at the top, you can see it says JV doc. Let's click on there and see what it looks like. Okay. And, uh, these JV docs are used most likely, uh, an additional document, uh, besides the JV page that contains, uh, even more information about that product. Okay. Uh, so let's scroll down here. There should be somewhere to be able to download the demo video. And if not, we'll go on to another one or you can go on here and, um, here we go. Product demo. There we go. Boom. Look at that. They give the S3 link directly on here so you can download that and use that to upload it right away. And that'll even bypass your video creation portion of the video. Okay. Um, and they even have it on YouTube so you can go to YouTube and even download it, uh, by using a YouTube uh, video downloader. Okay. And you can Google that, uh, YouTube video downloader, and there's multiple options for you to be able to download videos from YouTube. Okay. Um, here's where obviously you request your affiliate link. Uh, there was one more thing that I wanted to show you on here. Oh, they also have bonuses. Okay. So if you uh, do not have bonuses that you can offer, uh, yourself, if you're brand new, you can see a lot of these people have bonuses that you can offer. So here you can click on this link and get more bonuses that you can throw in to your uh, promotion to make more sales. Okay. So. Uh, that's how you can pretty much bypass number one, uh, having to make a video. You can use the vendor's video and they provide that link for you. If you don't have bonuses, you can use their bonuses as well. Okay. And this is me without even having to reach out to them. Okay. So this is perfect. If you're brand new, you do not have to reach out to these vendors. Okay. And look here, they even provide more. They provide the, the video sales letter as a downloadable link. Uh, and they provide the upsells as well. So in your video, if you do decide to um, make a video, what you can do is uh, just talk about uh, the offer, uh, the upsells, the prices of the upsells, and then you can uh, add their demo video to the end of your video, okay? So that way you do have uh, a portion of it that is something that you made, okay? Which does end up connecting a little bit better with uh, the traffic from Google. Uh, and here they provide images as well if you want to use that in your video. Um, but when it comes to launch checking, I also do want to mention that it is a numbers game. Uh, so that's why, you know, you do want to be able to be pumping these out 
uh, fairly quickly. So the less time that you can spend on certain things, the better. So things like video creation, uh, it's, it's going to be a lot more beneficial for you because again, it is going to be a numbers game when it comes to launch tracking. Okay. Um, so that's pretty much what you are looking for and how you can uh, get resources that you need uh, to start uh, getting into some of these promotions. Okay, now let's quickly take a look at JV Notify Pro and JV Notify Pro is pretty much uh, the same thing. Okay, uh, so where's the launch calendar? All right. Oh, here we go. All right. Uh, so it doesn't seem like there's many on here. Maybe they've changed things up uh, on how they approve their listings, uh, but there used to be a lot more on here. Uh, maybe they've switched to a more of a paid uh, uh, platform. Uh, let's see. If I click on that, let's see where it takes me. All right, let's go back. All right, so it seems like there isn't many uh, listings on here, but the good thing about this uh, website is that there might not be many, but for the most part, there's probably gonna be, uh, you'll be able to find some that are a bit more higher ticket, okay? Uh, so it's the same thing. You can click through to any one of these and then you'll be able to um, get more information about that product. So you can see here, clicks down, opens up, and if you click on the JV invite, it'll take you to an iframe page where you can get more information about that um, listing. Okay, so pretty much JV Notify Pro and MunchEye are places for you to find products to promote. And then you just, you know, add the word review to the end of it uh, to whatever the name of the product is. Okay, so uh, this one is called VSL Creator. So you would do VSL Creator Review, VSL Creator Reviews, VSL Creator Bonus, okay? Those will be your target keywords, all right? Uh, so that's keyword research and where to find products in a nutshell. Okay, so that's pretty much how to do that part. Very simple. Anyone can do this. Uh, so I'm going to stop this video now go to the next one and continue this training. All right, now in this video, I want to quickly open up with talking about launch tracking outside of the internet marketing space. And you would pretty much do that at news.google.com. Okay, let me make that a little bit bigger. All right, news.google.com, and this will give you an endless supply of uh, products that you can look at uh, for you to launch track, and the process is pretty much the same. Okay, so you're gonna find the name of, of a product, add the the name, the word review, reviews, bonus, and if there are products that compete with them, you can compare the two as well. So an example of that would be something like Roku versus Apple TV, okay? So that's an example of, of a versus keyword or a comparison keyword, which is what I mean by that, okay? Uh, so to be able to find products that have just launched in uh, the tech space or pretty much any space, okay? Uh, you, like I said, you go to news.google.com and here on the left-hand side, you can uh, sort through the different categories. I always like to go to technology uh, because that is where you know, pretty much all the electronics, the shiny gadgets that are, are published and uh, people that are into that, uh, that's, you know, where they get the information. Okay. And that's where you can get information on the products being launched so that you can know uh, what to make uh, your campaigns around. Okay. Uh, so here the iPhone SE versus iPhone 11. Um, pretty much you're looking for something that has just been released. So what you're going to do is put just released up here at the top in quotations and then it's going to show you everything that's just been released okay uh the 2020 akc most popular dog breeds uh all right a lot of these are most likely going to be about the coronavirus right now Let's do pre-order. Might change things up a little bit since pre-order gives us a little bit more of a targeted 
audience since pre-order means that uh, people can pull their wallet out and pre-order whatever it is that they want. All right. PS5 seems like it's being released. So it would be PS5 or PlayStation 5 review, PlayStation 5 reviews, things like that. Uh, Lenovo Idea Pad. So it looks like Lenovo's um, releasing their own pad. So that would be a good one too. Lenovo Idea Pad Duet uh, review or Chromebook review. So that looks like it's going to be a long tail keyword there. Okay. Uh, here's that same one Chromebook. Uh, look at this one's pretty cool. Baby Yoda face masks available. Okay, that might be a good one. Uh, this one seems like it might be getting quite a bit of uh, attention, this Lenovo IdeaPad. All right, but pretty much that's that's what you do. You come in here, you start uh, looking for products that uh, might catch uh, some attention, and this one looks like it is. Okay, so if you click on there, and then you're gonna get all the um, information about that product. You're going to see what people are saying. You can visit the blog posts, watch videos. You can even use parts of the videos. You can turn the blog posts that you'll be reading into videos. Uh, so, uh, things like that, you know, it, it might take a little bit longer for you to make a video for products in the tech space. Um, especially if you don't know about it, but trust me, I've done it. I've done gone to the point of just screen recording a blog post and talking about what's in the blog post okay uh, pretty much i'm just reading the headlines reading a few pieces of it and, and that's it and i publish it uh and optimize it upload it, and we're good to go okay so uh, this seems to be taking quite a while to load but that's the process when it comes to finding products outside of the uh, internet marketing space that you can launch tag, you just pretty much go to news.google.com. You search for uh, just announced, uh, just released, pre-order, and things like that, okay? Uh, keywords uh, that would uh, tell you uh, products that are brand new uh, that you can target, okay? And this, all right, finally it opened. Okay, but here, again, I would just read through this. And here it seems like uh, it seems like Lenovo might be competing with Chromebook. Just looking at this, so that's one thing that you can do is compare the Chromebook with the Lenovo, the IdeaPad Duet versus the Chromebook. Okay, so that would be another good um, keyword for you to target there: Lenovo versus, or excuse me, Chromebook versus IdeaPad, or something like that. Okay. Uh, so those are things that you're going to notice on these uh, types of blog posts as well is that they are going to call out the competition, okay? And that will tell you what the competition is, and then you'll be able to leverage the versus keywords from that point, okay? And I would make a different video, uh, you know, optimize a video for the review keywords, and then optimize a video for the comparison keywords and have two of them separate, okay? So that's pretty much uh, finding products outside of the internet marketing space. And once you have your keyword research done and once you have your video created, uh, and if you don't know uh, what to say in your videos, let me break this down for you. If you do decide to make videos on your own, okay, it's a pretty simple four step process that you can follow. Okay, number one is tell them who you are. Pretty much introduce yourself, tell them what you have, what it can do for them, and what to do next. Okay, literally, if you ever lost in making videos or making review videos or making any kind of video, you follow these four steps and you will always know exactly what to say, okay? Because I make all my videos exactly the same and I follow this four step formula, okay? I have it memorized. I open up with an intro, tell them who I am, tell them what I have, what it can do for them, what to do next, okay? The parts that are gonna tell, take you the longest are these two, okay? You, where you tell them what you have and then what it can do for them. You cover the benefits, the features, the price, where to get it, when they can get it, all that stuff. And then you tell them what to do next. Click the link below, pick this up, uh, pre-order it, whatever it is, um, and get that done, okay? Obviously, this is if you are creating videos yourself. If you're not, if you're just gonna use demo videos from the vendor, 
or you know um, review videos uh, that you mash up from other people whatever it may be uh, then you don't have to worry about this but uh, of course if you are then just follow the simple four-step process okay so uh, in the next video i'm going to take you to the next step which is where you really put that knockout punch together uh, to get those uh, videos ranked on the first page All right, so uh, we've covered keyword research, we've covered where to find products, and we've covered making videos, okay? Obviously, if you're not using the demo video of the uh, vendor, okay? Uh, but now that you've got this, you're pretty much ready to go to the final step, which is the video uploading, video optimizing, and syndication portion, okay? So this is where things get exciting because I'm gonna be sharing my trifecta video system, okay, which is a powerful strategy that will really get you some good results uh, when you follow exactly what I'm going to share with you okay so this is how I run my uh, launch jacking uh, system and a lot of times when I do just regular evergreen video ranking as well okay so what I do is number one I create a regular optimized video okay I create a live streaming video okay and then I create a optimized playlist for these two videos as well. Okay. Um, and then from here, I'll obviously put uh, both of these videos into the playlist. Okay. So now I have two videos that are optimized. Okay. I have a uh, optimized playlist, which is also public, which allows you to rank the playlist as well. Uh, and then from there, I send social bookmarks, web 2.0 links, social syndication, and uh, PBN links is one of those that's uh, optional. I usually throw in PBN links when it's something that's really, really competitive. Uh, but for the most part, I do social bookmarks, web 2.0 links, social syndication, and also some wiki links in here as well um, when... Um, you know, when I'm using Thumb for You Suite and things like that, okay? But I have uh, pretty much three platforms that I use, uh, SynLab, uh, Thumb for You Suite, and SynBuddy. Uh, but pretty much SynLab and Thumb for You Suite allow you to get this type of syndication. And I will send it to, number one, I'll first send it to the regular optimized video. Then I'll send links to the live streaming video. And then I'm going to send links as well to the optimized playlist, okay? So... Uh, all this syndication is not only going to each of the videos, but it's also going to the optimized playlist, which also has these videos in it. So everything is flowing together. Okay. And then a step that I take even further is I interlink the videos in the description. Okay. So I'll grab the video link from this video. I'll put it in the description of this video, and then I'll take the video URL of this video and put it in the description of this one. Okay, and then I will take the playlist URL and I'll also put it in this, this in the description of this video and in the description of this video. Okay, so now not only are these videos inside of this playlist, but they are interlinked amongst themselves, and then the playlist is also interlinked in the description of the, each of these videos. Okay, so that is pretty much allowing you to leverage the maximum power of YouTube's authority for your own videos and your own playlist because uh, YouTube links are do follow on YouTube, okay? Uh, so you are pretty much creating a nice interlink, uh, interlink wheel for your own content, okay? And this is what really allows you to uh, throw that knockout punch, okay? And the reason that I put two videos as well is because most people aren't doing that, okay? And sometimes I'll even throw in a third video, okay? And then I'll do the same thing. I'll interlink all of them, I'll put them all in a playlist, and then I'll send links to all three of them, okay? Um, and that's, you know, when I really want to destroy my competition, okay? Because most people, uh, again, they're only doing one video, and it's very easy to outrank one video, okay? But when you're putting two videos and you're doing all this interlinking among those videos, that's when things really go to the next level, okay? Uh, so... Uh, Pretty much, you guys most likely know how to upload a video to YouTube. Uh, I'll talk about how you can optimize 
uh, them now here in a second just in case you don't know how to do that and then i'll show you how to create a playlist as well and how to add videos into that playlist um, but pretty much uh, well, I'll stop this video since I just wanted to explain the process for you first. Uh, so I'll stop this video and then I'll uh, continue it in the next video where I'll break everything down a little bit more detail. So first, let's quickly cover how to optimize a regular video and how to optimize a live streaming video. And I'll even talk about how to optimize the playlist, but it's pretty much all the same thing. Okay, uh, so let me come over here to this uh, link here. All right, and this is pretty much what you do, okay? When before, uh, there's actually two steps. So you optimize your video before you actually upload it, and then there's things you do after you upload it as well, okay? So before you even upload the video, you have to first make sure that you name it your target keyword, okay? So whatever your target keyword is, whether it's um, you know, product name review or product name reviews, or if you're targeting all three of them, just pick one of them that's going to be your main one, which is most likely going to be either review or reviews, and use that when you are saving your file on your uh, desktop. Okay, and even if you um, download a video from uh, one of the uh, vendors, then you can still download it and name it your target keyword. Okay. Uh, and then there's an extra step that you can do if you are a PC user that will give you a little bit more of an extra punch. Uh, and if you are a Mac user, you can download Adobe Bridge and allow you to do the same thing. Okay. Uh, so let me just quickly show you a couple of screenshots that will, that shows you exactly what to do. All right. So what you're pretty much going to do is find your video file on your desktop. Once you've already named it your target keyword. Okay, so like I just mentioned, name the video keyword .mp4. So you've already done that. And what you're going to do is you're going to right click, you're going to click on properties. And then step number two is to optimize the details page. Okay, so you're pretty much optimizing the meta information of that video. Okay, uh, so here under details, you'll be able to enter keyword one, keyword two, you'll be able to add tags, and you'll even be able to add a short description for that video. Okay. Then you hit uh, you hit OK, you hit apply and you're good to go. OK, that will give you a little bit more of a uh, optimization boost because you're actually optimizing uh, the uh, if you want to call it the inner workings of the video. OK, uh, so again, you write, you find the video, you right click, you go down to properties and then you'll see the, this information under the details tab. OK, uh, so that is uh, how you do that. And then again, if you're on a uh, Mac, you can do it with Adobe Bridge. From there, you upload the video, and then these steps are as follows. Okay, so the first thing you do is na name the keyword, put the keyword in your title. Okay, and of course, it's most likely already going to be on there by default because uh, that is the name of the file. It's just going to say .mp4. So you remove the .mp4, uh, and then you uh, can add uh, some additional uh, keywords to it as well. So uh, what you can do is you can put um, product name review and bonus so that you are targeting uh, both of those terms, okay? Then you put your keyword in the description in the very first line along with your affiliate URL, okay? Both of these, you want to make sure they are in, in the first line so that uh, it's above the fold and people can see it clearly and click on your affiliate link. Uh, then you can have a short description as well, maybe two to three uh, sentences uh, just to beef it up a little bit. And then you can have your long tail keywords listed at the end. Okay. So, uh, the good thing is that with launch jacking, there is probably going to be three to four keywords max that you're going to be using. So you just put those, uh, in the bottom or just sprinkle them in into your description. Okay. Uh, then you put your keyword in the tags. You put the YouTube URL in the description as well as the YouTube URL of this other video in the description and if you already created your playlist then you do that as well if not you can come back and edit the video later and put those other uh, urls in the description uh, and if you're doing local marketing then you go to advanced settings you go to video location and you set your target city okay this is if you are trying to rank that video locally okay uh, for live events it's exactly the same thing okay you are uh, pretty much gonna um optimize it exactly the same except you're not 
uh, able to do this part because you're leveraging a live event. But besides that, all of this stays the same because uh, the good thing about a live event is that, you know, you can create it before you even make the video. Okay. So it goes directly to YouTube and then you just follow these steps here. Uh, playlist optimization, again, same thing. You just follow, um, you create it and then you can, the only thing with playlists is that you could only do the title and the description. However, if you'd like, you can maybe uh, optimize uh, the playlist for the plural version of the keyword, okay, and have the videos be optimized for each of these other keywords, okay? Uh, so have one video be only optimized for this one, have this one optimized for the live streaming video, and then maybe have this keyword optimized for the playlist, all right? Um, so that is pretty much the optimization process. Uh, it pretty much stays the same uh, and it's been the same for quite a while. Okay. Uh, so let's quickly show you how you can create a playlist to wrap this up. Uh, but pretty much you're going to go to your channel uh, here on the left hand side. You'll see it says playlist. You click on that. It's going to open up in a new window. And here in the top, it says new playlist. You click on that. This is where you enter your target keyword. As you can see, you can set it to public, which means that it will be a rankable URL. You click create. And here you can go ahead and edit a description. So this is where you optimize the, the playlist even more. And add your keywords. And you can also add an additional URL. So youtube.com, whatever it may be. Okay. And then here is where you add videos. All right. So you click on these three little balls, uh, you click add videos. And the good thing is that you can also not only add your own videos, which is the ones that you want, but you can also add a video or two of someone else's so that you can you know have it a little bit more beefed up so here you can search by keyword uh you can input a direct url or you can do it from the videos that are inside of your account so if i do that one that one and that one and i click add videos now that playlist has not only been optimized okay so i have the target keyword uh of oh, the description that i put in didn't save uh, but again you can just add your description click save and then i have the videos uh, added in here as well. Okay. So that's how simple it is to come in here, get the keyword, uh, excuse me, get a, create a playlist. Um, and then from here you can start to uh, optimize it as well. So if here you can click share, and this is your playlist URL, uh, your public playlist URL that you can rank. Okay. So you again, you'll send links to, uh, this, uh, link you'll send, um, back links to, the regular optimized video that you upload and you'll uh, send back links to the live streaming video. And like I mentioned in the previous video, you're going to interlink them each uh, to each other as well. Uh, and like I said, these are the type of links that I send uh, and I used done for you suite and Synlab to make that happen. Um, but that's it. This is the final video, uh, pretty much wrapped things up. This is how simple and how powerful it is to go out there and launch Jack. Uh, in the internet marketing space and outside of the internet marketing space, leveraging the power of this trifecta uh, kind of triangle that we are creating with a regular video, a live streaming video, and an optimized playlist. Okay, so thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this and go out there and start making it happen with this system you just learned.